From Crosstown Classics to Border Wars, rivalries come in all shapes and sizes, but they share an intense, focused purpose. Earn those bragging rights. Throughout his playing and coaching career, Daryl Hazel has been part of many great rivalries. And although it's new to him, the old oak and bucket against Indiana is no exception. I think it's some type of hatred that each team has for the other, and I'm not sure why or where it started. Um, and then it just builds in the community and it builds on the teams and uh, you just talk about it constantly. But a good rivalry is one of those where you throw the records out and you battle back and forth. Except you know one thing, at the end of the game, you have a 364 day grace period where you can either walk really high or you can walk kind of with your head down because you lost that, that very important football game. Well, yeah, the rivalries are important, and we have we have three. You know, we have the Shillelagh that, uh, with Notre Dame, we have the Cannon with the University of Illinois, and and of course the Old Oak and Bucket with uh, with Indiana. And I I think our kids get a bounce in the step when you play those games, and we all prominently display those those trophies uh, in in the football offices and so up in the Mullenkopf. There's a very prominent place for the bucket, and it stays there most of the time, which is which is something we've we've enjoyed. And I I know the Indiana people would. When they got it back a few years ago, they were, they were, it was a big deal for them. We got it back last year, that was a big deal to us. So I think it adds a little flavor to the, to the season. All the rivalries that I've been involved with, I've been involved with the Army-Navy, uh, the Penn-Princeton, the Backyard Brawl, West Virginia and Pitt, um, Ohio State and Michigan. I mean, I've been in some great rivalries, and it's always those games that the team that does the best things when things are not happening the way you want them to happen, those are the teams that usually end up winning. A good rivalry will always bring out the best in both teams. You know, I don't think a rivalry is based off of what the outside sees it as. You know, it's what, to me, it's what the two rivals see each other as. You know, you go back to my high school days, and I went to Wayne High School, our big rivalry is the Centerville X. I don't know if anybody knew that, but I knew when you were at Wayne, the rivalry was Centerville Elks. When you went to Ohio State, that's a bigger rivalry to the outside people. But to Ohio State and Michigan, that that's those that was a huge rivalry. That was just it was Ohio State versus Michigan. Everybody else saw that rivalry. When we got to Kent State, Kent State versus Akron for the wagon wheel. Not ever, not the same amount of people that know about Ohio State and Michigan knew about that rivalry. But I'll tell you, it was just as passionate as every single rivalry I've been in. And now you think about here, Purdue versus Indiana. And you know, when I was at Ohio State, when I was at Kent State, when I was in high school, I didn't know much about Purdue and Indiana, the rivalry. But now that you're here, you know what it is. And to me, that's what makes a rivalry. When you get to a place, you know who the big rivalry is. And, and then the players who grow up in it, uh, it doesn't take, it does not take a Purdue athlete very, very much to get fired up for that game. In fact, in, in any contest, not just football. I mean, it's just a healthy rivalry, and I think that's good for collegiate sports. As long as they do it with good sportsmanship. I, I, don't, I don't like it. You don't need to get in fights or taunt each other and all that stuff, but for the most part, they haven't done that. You gotta find a way to control your emotions in those games. You can't, it can't be a personal battle. It's gotta be about execution. It's gotta be about execution and who prepares better and, and goes out on game day and says, you know, we're gonna execute our game plan. And I mean, you think about all the rivalries I've been in, they've all been close games. They've all been close games from high school to, to Ohio State, Michigan, to Kent and Akron. They've all been tough games, but um, the feeling of victory is that much sweeter when you win that rivalry game. To be completely honest with you, and you know, I, I tell a few people this, but my freshman year, you know, coming into college, it, the rivalry didn't mean much to me. It, it really, it really, you know, I just, because I didn't know about it, never played in it, you know, I just knew, Oh, we played for a bucket. I mean, obviously I wanted to win, but my freshman year, after that game, I really, you know, became one with the tradition. Like you just get wrapped up in it. You just you you just become a part of it, you know. And ever since then I realized what, you know, the IU Purdue bucket game is really about. You know, I, I realized that rivalry, I became a part of it um after that game my freshman year. And then it's like almost you just can't wait to that the last game next year just to play him. You know, it, it, it was pretty, you know, it's pretty intense. It's an intense rivalry. For Danny Anthrop, who hails from West Lafayette, the bucket game is a chance to extend existing rivalries with his competitors from high school. 
Yeah, the, the week leading up to it's normal. Um, we might have like somebody present uh, what the trophy's about and uh, kind of get get that um, that going. But by going into the game, like when I was when I was in high school, like I, I played against and like ran track against some of their players. So like I know their names. It's like the only game in college where it's almost like a high school game because you know so many of their players. You know, I know when a, when you go down to Bloomington or they come up here, it's going to be a war. I don't care what the record is. I've seen games when when uh, you know it was, we should have won and and they they upset us. Fortunately, there have been more peas on that bucket than eyes on the bucket. We'd like to keep it that way. As both teams aim to make a statement, this year's bucket game is certain to be a heated battle. But Coach Hazel has made it clear: discipline and strategy are keys to adding another P to the chain. Our game against Indiana is going to be hugely important, and it's uh, one of those things where everything is going to be worth double. Two yards is worth four yards, and you got to play smart. You got to understand it's a football game, and it's not a fighting match uh, because you cannot take those critical penalties. That when guys are on the edge, they're a little bit chippy in those games. You got to be a smart football team. You still have to be disciplined because at the end of the day, you know, you're a Division One athlete, you know, you, you have to be professional and you, you do, you have to control your emotions to, to a certain extent. I, I, I thought I knew what to expect last year, but just seeing how heated it got and like the trash talk and um, it, it's a lot of fun and it, I think it's a great tradition and um, I'm just looking forward to this one so much. Join us next time on One Brick Hire for a look at how Coach Hazel and his staff reflect on the 2013 season and what they look forward to in 2014.